let's have a lifestyle of thanksgiving and praise amen let's praise god let's thank god at all times in every situation all day every day at any time of the hour any time of the feeling always thank god and praise god amen let's make a lifestyle let's practice thanking god let's practice praising god because he deserves the best and the bible says everything that has breath praise the lord amen everything that has breath if you have breath in your nostrils that one reason is enough to praise god to thank god amen the bible says in the book of psalm 100 verse number 4 enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise amen enter his gates come into his gates as you enter the reason you enter the attitude that you enter for is the attitude of gratitude enter his gates with thanksgiving as i was meditating on the scripture i was asking the lord god where are the gates of heaven where is heaven god is living in us christ is in you so where is the gates what gates is this talking about what courts is this talking about to understand this verse you must understand the old testament the writer is writing from the concept of old testament at the time of moses when moses was leading the people of israelites in the wilderness when they came out of egypt so god wanted to come and meet them because god loves his people amen god loves his people whether you want to meet him or not he wants to meet you amen whether you want to speak to him or not he wants to speak to you amen what a wonderful god we serve so he wanted to come and meet them so he told moses i would like to come and meet my people and i would like to meet you and make a tabernacle make a place of tent of meeting which was called as tent of meeting because in old testament god could not live among us he could not live in us because christ had not died we were unholy god could not live inside of us so god would visit god was only doing visitation so god told moses make a tabernacle i have taught you before tabernacle has three partitions outer court inner court which is called as holy place and most holy place outer courts holy place most holy place so outer court has a gate holy place has second gate second curtain and the most holy place has third gate third curtain you can look at the image outer court that the whole courtyard you can see that outer court the entrance curtain that is the gate of entrance that is the gate that is talking about when psalmist wrote this verse psalm 100 verse 4 enter his gates he's talking about this gate because at that time this is the picture he had in his mind that when you come to the presence of god because god was not living inside of them they had to visit god so when they come to meet god that is the gate the first gate where it is written as entrance curtain so it is saying enter his gates with thanksgiving that means you come to meet god with attitude of gratitude you come to meet god not because you want something from god but because you have so much to thank god for god has done so much so you come to thank god thank him enter his gates with thanks giving and then from his gates you move inside to courtyard you move inside that courts can you see the inside place that is the courtyard that is outer court which is called as the outer court so in the outer court you come and you enter his courts with praise amen from here he's correlating and he's writing 
this psalm enter his gates so as i was meditating on this and as i as i was practicing my life of thanksgiving and praise i got this beautiful revelation of this correlation when it says enter his gates that is when you set aside your time of prayer with the lord god is always with you god is always inside of you you commune with him 24 bar 7 but then you set aside some time to come and meet him to tell him god you are important to me god i am waiting to listen to you i am listening speak to me so you take time to come to god telling him you are important and when you come like that before god and every day in your every day to day activity daily course when you are doing going to work driving cooking cleaning every day when you think about god what is the first thing that you do first thing when you enter the gate you thank god you thank him you say god i thank you i thank you for what you have done i thank you for there is food on my table i thank you for there is shelter on my head i thank you for giving me loving husband i thank you for giving me loving parents i thank you for giving me wonderful children i thank you for giving me this job i have a job to go to i thank you for this salary that you have given me thank him thank him because there is breath in your nostrils thank him because you woke up this morning thank him because your heart didn't stop last night and it is still beating amen thank him your blood is flowing your bp is normal your sugar is normal thank him there are million reasons to thank the lord amen so thank the lord personalize it to you to your day to day life sometimes i have heard people say thank the lord for the sun for the moon for the birds for the mountains for the sea in my initial walk in christian life i would ask how to pray how should i thank the lord so they would say thank the lord for there is greenery for the moon so i would i would go and i'd say god thank you for sun thank you for moon next day thank you for stars thank you for sun i am not able to have correlation i am not able to relate it's not personalized to me i'm thanking god yeah nature is good yes when we enjoy the nature when we enjoy the breeze it we thank god but that that is not personalized when you say god thank you for the food i eat it is personalized because you are eating and you have to pray for today's food it is so adulterated you have to pray for that food god thank you for the food on my table when you eat something so delicious you say god thank you for you have given me the best tastiest favorite food even if it is not tastiest you thank the lord because that food is sanctified god has preserved you from sickness so you thank the lord so make it a lifestyle before eating take time to thank the lord take time to pray so by doing that you will end up thanking lord at least 3 times a day those of you who are eating for five times you end up thanking the lord at least five times a day it's good right like daniel we end up praying five times seven times we end up praying many times so thank the lord when you go out of the house thank the lord when you go to bed before sleeping so it becomes a lifestyle it becomes a lifestyle of thanksgiving and praise thank the lord there is always a reason to thank god so the moment you think about god the moment you come into the gates what you do first thing thank the lord amen thank the lord and as you move in the outer inner court that's courtyard outer court inside what you do you praise god because the bible says enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts so now that you have come into courts you have to praise the lord so thanking god is the first step praising god is second step then adoration getting deeper is the third step so the first entrance first gate the deep level is thanksgiving deepest level is second gate that is praising deepest level is the third gate that is adoration deeper worship i'll be explaining that to you now in detail so now when it says thank the lord why the bible says thank the lord because show them the next verse it says by thanking god you magnify the lord you magnify the lord with thanksgiving 
Psalm 69:30 I will praise the name of the uh, name of God with a song and I will magnify him with thanksgiving it says magnify him with thanksgiving what a magnifying glass does when you are magnifying an ob uh, uh, an object when you magnify your object the object is becoming bigger to the onlooker the one who's looking through the object for him it is becoming bigger in reality is the object becoming bigger no so when it says magnify the lord can you make god bigger he is the biggest thing in the world how can you make god bigger you cannot make god bigger so god is the biggest thing but when you praise god for you in your eyes in your image in your attitude in your heart god becomes the biggest thing he is bigger than your problem bigger than the sickness that you are facing bigger than the situation the the, the poverty bigger than any circumstances that you are going through you are magnifying the lord in your life your focus is not on the problem your focus is on the problem solver amen your focus is on miracle worker your focus is on your almighty god so when you thank the lord you magnify the lord in your life you magnify the lord for you so you thank the lord amen hallelujah and you come deeper as you begin your prayer as you begin your worship time first thing you thank the lord next thing what you do you come more deeper how do you come more deeper come into his courts with praise next level deeper level praising god amen praising god for what do i praise i praise because birds are singing i praise because uh, uh, mountains are uh, so high and tall i praise because green uh, grass is green no come on that cannot be a reason to praise god there are there that is that that, that is not the reason there are so many 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 things that god has done to you where your praise will come from the bottom of your heart not from top of your head you say i praise god i praise god for what he has done why i praise god in the outer court you come to the image when you see you see the brazen altar when you come to outer court the brazen altar what is the brazen altar for you get your offering depending on the status depending on the lifestyle depending on their status either they bring goats they bring bull or they bring doves they bring the offering the family brings the offering for their the sacrifice for their sins for the covering of their sins they bring the offering where they meet in the outer court on the brazen altar they bring their offering and they place it what kind of offerings they bring many offerings sin offering peace offering meal offering trespass offering grain grain offering so they bring the offering to god so when they bring the offering to god the uh, priest takes the offering cuts the ram cuts the bull and sacrifices on the behalf of the family applies the blood the blood is poured on the brazen altar and then the priest goes in and washes his hands in the brazen lever he washes his hands so from there on the second place is holy place a common israelite is not welcome there it is only for the priest the second place the holy place inner court room inner room so it is only for the priest nobody is allowed there uh, uh, is a common israelite can come only to the outer court bring the offering amen everything has so deep meaning i have explained before about tabernacle i'm not getting into the details it's so beautiful now when you thank god you come deeper to praise god when you come deeper don't come empty handed you come with your offering amen come with your bull come with your ram come with your dove come with your offering the offering is not the animal the bulls and goats it's talking about the perfect offering that was accepted by our god no other offering was accepted for the remission of sins it was accepted for as a covering of sins but the offering of jesus on the cross was a perfect offering which took away our sins the remission of sins was made for you and for me that offering you say god i bring today the lamb of god as my offering i come into the courtyard i come into outer court 
with my offering my grain offering is jesus my trespass offering is jesus my peace offering with god is jesus come with jesus what do you mean by that come with the finished work of jesus what jesus did for you on the cross after thanking god you enter the outer court praising god you praise god with your offering you praise god about your offering that is the finished work of jesus so now you praise god for what you praise god not just for the sea or the mountains or the food or the greenery now you praise god for what jesus has accomplished for you you say i praise you god because i am a forever accepted in the beloved i praise you god because i am seated far above high principalities and powers and darkness i praise you god because the same power that rose jesus from dead lives in me i praise you god because i am seated on the right hand of father as co heir with christ with jesus i am seated i praise you god because the gospel in a nutshell is this christ is in me i praise you god because i am the righteousness of god i praise you god because you became poor and made me rich i praise you god because jesus face was marred today i have beauty for ashes i praise you god who forgives all my sins and healed all my disease amen i praise you god because he rejoices over me with singing and dancing i praise you god because his banner over me is love i praise you god because i am the disciple whom jesus loves i praise you god amen for all what jesus has done for me amen so you have million reasons to praise god for the finished work of jesus amen so you now you come with your offering you 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 focus you talk about what jesus has done for you everything what i told you now is a scripture everything i told you was a scripture i can quote but for the lack of time i don't want to quote all the scriptures when you know what god has done for you in the word you 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 don't know what else to say in prayer other than praise god amen now when i when when i take my personal time prayer time i get into the uh, i get into my closet when i pray i'm like what to say what to say to my god what to ask from my god when christ is in me wisdom is in me power is in me authority is in me all love is in me everything pertaining to life and godliness has been given to me all blessings see are given to me in spiritual realms everything is been given has been given to me when when you know this you just come and say god i praise you that you have already blessed me i praise you that you have already healed me i praise you you have already given to me everything i just receive it by faith i praise you amen so you enter his courts with praise amen no matter what the situation you are going through what delay difficulty sickness problems just praise god praise god take time to thank god don't come to thank god because you need something thank god because he has already given you thank god because he is so good to you you thank god because you have an attitude of gratitude you you want to come to god's presence not to ask something you want to come in and you want to say god i thank you god is always with you he is inside of you all the time you when you talk to him the first thing you say is god i thank you i take time to thank you i take time to praise you i take time to thank you how many of you will say i want to thank you well god i want to thank you well because the bible says the one who thanks him honors him how many of you want to honor god Amen. every one of us right we pray every day god i would want to i want to honor you i want to i want to live a life that praises you live a life that honors you psalm 50 verse number 23 those of you who want to honor god those of you who want to praise god those who sacrifice thank offering honors me 
and to the blameless i will show my salvation show them in the uh, 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 next version those of you who offers praise glory fies me the bible says those who offer thanksgiving those who offer praise what we do we pray we glorify god if you want to glorify god what you have to do offer thanksgiving and praise those who offer thanksgiving and praise glorifies god you want to glorify god then thank him thank him now if you say how i th- how i should thank pastor how should i thank i don't know i cannot play guitar like pritham i cannot sing like sheena i cannot sing like chris tomlin how i can thank the lord you, you don't have to sing or play music to thank the lord you can thank the lord with everything that you have and the best way to thank the lord this is my favorite words it liberated me because i don't know to play a musical instrument i don't know to sing like chris tomlin so the best way best way you can thank the lord 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse number 17 you all can look at that it says for you indeed give him thanks well if you read the whole portion of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 the whole portion is talking about speaking in tongues when you are speaking in tongues you thank him very well you thank him more than any other way of thanking whether you are singing whether you are playing musical instrument you are volunteering whatever way you want to thank god the best way to thank god bible has given the answer this is my favorite words it's so easy to speak in tongues wow praise the lord <laughs> oh, those of you who don't know to play musical instrument praise the lord speak in tongues you thank him very well amen amen so we thank god speaking in tongues we thank god on cymbals on all uh, lyre and harp and guitar on all musical instruments everything we use it to glorify and praise god when you thank him you glorify god when you speak in tongues you thank very well so when you are entering his gates what you must do thank him and what is the best way to thank speaking in tongues so that means in your prayer time what is the first thing that you should do speak in tongues amen so because you are entering his gates speaking in tongues thanking him very well and then now you are coming to praise praise him how do you praise praising what jesus has done be rooted and established in him amen in him in jesus knowing what jesus has done when you know more and more and more what jesus has done you know that he has given you grace upon grace and what you, you it, it, it cannot it, you cannot stop but praise the lord so you say god i praise you and when you praise you know what happens you are stopping the enemy if devil is trying to come against you come against your marriage your health your finances whenever devil tries to attack you the best way to paralyze him the best way to paralyze him you want him to be paralyzed you do, you do, you want to stop him from attacking you he's punching you harder and you're like oh god it's hurting me don't cry don't cry because when moses cried what god told why are you crying to me the same thing god is telling you today why are you crying to me make him paralyze i have empowered you given you authority and i have made it very simple you can paralyze your enemy the moment he comes and attacks any area of your life you can just kill him you can just stop him by doing what by praising god amen psalms chapter 8 verse number 2 reference verse for you so that you know that it's not made up it is there in the bible the bible says in psalm 82 through the praise of children and infants you have established a strong hold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger the deeper meaning when you study that in king james version you can see the last verse that thou might mightest still still the enemy and the avenger that means you can still him you can stop his work you can stop his work against you you can paralyze the enemy he's bringing negative thoughts he's fighting your emotions he's bringing your past memories devil is bringing your past failures devil is attacking you 
what do you do you praise god you praise god you say god i praise you jesus i thank you by his stripes i am healed jesus i thank you that you uphold me with your righteous right hand i thank you that you are with me when you keep praising god the enemy is paralyzed he cannot do anything against you he's totally stuck he's still the bible says he's still he cannot move devil cannot move when you praise god amen when the bible says everything that has been praised the lord god is not trying to tell you to satisfy his ego fine you praise me so i feel good about it that's human being that's us we want someone to praise us but god is not like that god is the biggest thing you cannot magnify him when god is telling you to praise it's helping you it is stilling the avenger who's coming against you it is helping you amen and when you praise god when you thank god you know it is so good for your body neuroscientists tell us whenever you thank god your brain constantly your brain is creating chemicals right they say doctors say our brain is like a chemical factory it constantly is creating chemicals sending signals to every organ every cell of our body when you praise god the chemical reaction that happens in your brain is so different and it is so beautiful to see the neuroscientists tell us that this chemical reaction is very good for the healing and recovery of your brain so when it is very good for the healing and recovery of your brain because toxic thoughts damage our brain cells and when you praise god your cells are getting renewed amen, amen. regenerated and that sends very good signals to your body so your body receives greater and quicker healing amen, amen. doctors generally say that no matter what medication we give to the patient it is the mindset of the patient what is that mindset it is the way he is thinking it is his thoughts so when you thank god you are doing so good to yourself amen now you understand why we say don't miss the worship ensure that you 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 are there for worship and worship time is such a beautiful time you come and attend worship and you praise god you thank god you say god i come as corporate church corporate fellow brothers we come together and we praise we come together and we pray when we come together there's corporate faith we come together and we praise god amen when you praise god it's good for your health it's good for your whole body your healing is getting better your body is getting better you're getting much better after you have praised after sunday afternoon when you go back home you have got so many new cells in your brain and in your body because you have praised god amen hallelujah see how beautiful it is what god says right do not stop the gathering of the brethren the bible says why we gather together we gather together to praise god amen that's the first thing we do enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise and whatever it is you have pain in your body you have got some weakness you have got some sickness you have got some kind of pain in your body don't focus on the pain praise god speak in tongues it's hard for you to think speak in tongues you don't even need your thinking you just speak in tongues speak in tongues and confess the word because when you confess the word you are not in defensive mode now you are not in defensive mode enemy is attacking so you are in defensive mode you are praising god the moment you praise god he gets paralyzed and the moment you speak the word of god amen it is a double edged sword my dear friend it is a weapon hallelujah the word of god is a spirit that is the word that is the double edged sword that will cut the enemy when you speak the word you are shooting the arrows in enemy's camp he cannot stop because he has to answer that word when he comes with negative thought he comes with negative feeling he comes with feeling of depression failure negativity he makes you feel that you are incompetent you are not enough when devil comes with such thoughts you shoot the arrow at him you take the sword the bible says the uh, jesus is coming on the white horse the rider is coming what is the weapon that he's got double edged sword is it in his hand in the book of revelation 
the double edged sword is not in the hand of jesus it is coming from the mouth of jesus amen so it is in your mouth when you speak when you speak the word that word goes and it cuts the enemy he has to leave you he runs away from you because now you are not in defensive mode you are in offensive mode you are a warrior hitting him back amen and when you praise god he is totally paralyzed and collapsed praise the lord hallelujah how important it is to give thanks and praise god let's make it a lifestyle to thank god every morning before going out for work thank god every night make it a lifestyle practice it to thank god before eating practice it to thank god when someone calls you first thing you say christ in you praise the lord i praise the lord praise the lord receive the phone with praise the lord hallelujah we praise the lord at all times amen The amount of blessing that you know me and my family has received through this church it's tremendous. The message that we receive here in FG Church is amazing. I'm so blessed that I'm coming to the church where the word of God is there. The burden that was upon me that uh, I have to work for my salvation has gone. Now I am free. But after coming to a forgiven generation, the knowledge and the revelation of God's word brought light into my dark situation. Yes, I am very happy. My whole family is blessed. I thank the church and the pastor. She is like my mother. She taught me everything. She gave the advice and she teach the word, the word of God. 